So you want to learn how to color grade. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to color grade like a pro. You're going to get an image starting from here and we're going to edit it to look like this. Wow, cinematic. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, I am Tung, and in today's video, you already guessed it, we're gonna do another color grading tutorial. Just recently, Neon Demon Studio closed down and it was a bittersweet moment. It was very sad for me because I think I was like the unofficial spokesperson of that place. Like I'm always there, I'm always creating content in that place and I created some of my best shots in there and I created good memories and made friends and you know, had good times in that freaking studio, right? And so it's sad to see it go. But let's go ahead and get into the Adobe Lightroom right here. Right now we have a lovely Paige as the model. She's one of the models that I used to uh, shoot with a lot. And I love Paige. Paige is a cool girl. I always create good uh, photos with her. And this one right here, you can see that it's like super red, right? It's kind of harder to edit this photo. Usually I think what most people would, would do is just leave it as is because they think this looks good but we're gonna spice it up a little bit we're gonna make it look spicy extra spicy i'm gonna leave this raw for you in the description link below so if you guys want to download it follow along and we're gonna begin right now this shot right here is just like filled with just red right it's just blasted with red there's nothing wrong with red but i feel like there should be a little bit more balance so what i want to do is just dial the tint back so we can get some colors back into the shot so what I'm gonna do is just, again, just go back, just go back to the tint and then just rebalance everything that to make it look pleasing to my eyes. I think this looks good. Half of her face right here, it's not so magenta. By doing that, we have Paige's face look a little bit uh, teal. We're gonna try to make it look orange and teal in a way, but make it look better and, I don't know, a little bit more contrasty. What I usually start first is we gotta change this to standard because I wanna do an Adobe color standard. There you go. It just makes things look a little bit flatter. And after that, I just wanna play around with uh, the exposure a little bit. See what's good. Minus 50, minus 47, minus. I think that looks good around here. You can see that it looks sort of flat. Now I want to make it look contrasty. So what I'm going to do is probably like, we don't want to boost the shadow of the shot. We want to look, we wanted to make it look dark and moody. So what I'm going to do is just bring down the shadows a little bit. Right here is good. So we're going to make it look super moody. And then we're going to bring up the blacks and bring up the whites a little. I'm gonna add in some contrast because it looks it's looking a little flat. And I'm just going to go hard with the contrast because we're, we're gonna make it look like uh, in your face. We're gonna make it look punchy. We're gonna make it look contrasty and it's gonna look super dope. From here, I think maybe a little bit of vibrance just to uh, bring out the colors a little bit more because it was looking a little flat and dead. Here we go. The, the photo is coming to life already, I think. I think 25 is good. From there you do your usual S curve. So in order to get that, that filmic uh, polish, what we're going to do is we're always going to move the, move this point up a little bit. Do you see, do you see how the image looks contrasty here? We're going to lift up the shadows a little bit to get, to get at that filmic um, layer on top of this image. And then from there, we're just going to make a, you know, your usual S curve. Okay. And then bring up the highlights a little so that we get a little bit more contrast. Right there. And then in the HSL section, I'm just going to um, mess around with the colors a little bit. This is up to you as an artist. Colors is a very subjective thing. So I'm just gonna play around with the hues and then see what kind of colors I get. You know, I can go this way to get that amber orange, that rusty orange look, but that's not really what I like. But it was right here before. So what I'm gonna do is I, I really like that crimson red. Here, oh my God. I'm getting bitten by mosquitoes. Ooh, I kinda like that. This looks cool. Let's see what the yellow, there we go. This is what I want. I like that. 
we're gonna balance these uh, this red and orange out a little bit let's see anything here nothing and usually this is what I do I just mess around to see if there's any colors that I like okay and then let's see whoa see that's what we don't want that just play around with it and get the colors that you want I think that looks good right here I find that the reds are a little too overpowering so we're gonna just remove the saturation a little bit just a little bit that looks good that looks good let's see what we should do with the orange remove desaturate the orange a little bit and let's see what else I could do I think we're gonna leave everything here before the red was really uh, predominant in the shot there's a lot of just red bleeding everywhere and I didn't want that so you can see the before here and then I subdued it a little just to desaturate it a little so that everything looks a little bit more balanced and this is what I got it's looking super moody and like super cinematic already but we're gonna do a few more things to it this is the secret sauce right here the color grading tab I really like this because you can really like you know you can really add your spice into the shot by just adding a little bit of um, um, a little bit of color grading and this is something that uh, I feel that people don't really touch because they're like really afraid to touch this right there's so many ways to color grade right um, this is just um, how I do it and this is how I've learned through trials and trial and error I just do whatever makes look makes it look good so I'm just going to add some orange into the midtones let's see how that looks you see when we add some um, orange into the midtones, like the shot comes back to life. That's like super cinematic right now, dude. Go right there. And then let's bump it up. I think that looks good. Let's dial it back and forth. Oh shit. That looks so good. You see that? Just by adding a little bit of orange into the midtones, it makes a pop a little bit more since the midtones are in the orange colors in in the orange section of the color wheel what we're going to do is we're going to go the opposite of that to balance it out what i'm going to do is just go to the opposite and then just add in like the greenish teal look to it but we don't want too much we just want a little bit just a little bit like 10 12 maybe Oh yeah just boost it up a little boost up like right there that looks good let's see before after before after and then with the blue let's see what it looks like we added just a little bit of teal into the shadows just so it can balance out the the orange midtones and I think it looks a lot better. Let's turn this on and off. Before, after, before, after. This just looks like a scene from a, a movie. <laughs> it's, it's looking so good already. We're gonna add a gradient onto her, her um, this side right here. So that way her shoulders right here is dark enough. We're not really distracted by this shoulder thing right here. We can just focus on her her face and I think that's gonna just add to the mood of it. Okay, so we're gonna go to linear gradient. We're gonna add that gradient around right here. Let's play around with it. See what we can come up with. Okay, so we're gonna just add this gradient right here maybe so it doesn't darken her face a little bit we can darken her hair right here so press o and then just darken it a little bit i think right here looks good and then we can just play around with the uh, temperature to add a little bit more color manipulation to the background and stuff so we're just gonna do that right here see how that looks See what we're doing now this is totally optional like you don't have to do this because i think the photo already looks good already this is just me just uh, messing around to see what else i can do to enhance the photo but 
it already looks good already. For some reason in my head, I think adding these little nuances will enhance the photo to look a lot better. I think we're done with that. Right now you can see the photo, the background is still a little bright. So what we're going to do is we're going to select subject and then we're going to invert it. And then from here, I think I want to, let's see what we're going to do. Whoa. Just darken it a little bit more so that page will pop out afterwards. And then from here, we'll select, uh, we'll select subject again. And this time we're gonna work on page a little bit. Just boost up her exposure a little bit. Play with the exposure, play with her highlights. I, I really don't care what you do. Maybe highlights looks a little bit better. I'm not too sure. Let me see. Yeah, that looks good. And then let's just change around her temperature if that's what you want to do. Just warm her up a little bit more and then maybe like that. That looks good to me. The background is just like one solid color, which is red. We can always select that, select the background and then just inf uh, and then just change the hues up a little bit to give us like, you know, that little bit of sauce that we need. I think that looks freaking dope what it looks like boom oh yeah that looks fire as fuck i think right here is where i would say it's completely done i think because of these gradients and because of these masks right we enhance the photos a little bit better and in my eyes i think this looks super dope it looks super cinematic and the colors are just amazing i want to do a before and after with the mask, and then um, we're gonna do a before and after of the total edit, okay? So so this is what it looks like with just the basic exposure and the and the color grading that I did earlier, right? So that looks fine, that looks, that looks totally fine. But um, once I turn on the mask, you can see there's like a, there's like a difference. Page just pops out a little bit more, and then the, the colors just looks a little bit more punchy and I feel as though that it adds more to the mood and it just adds more to the scene. So this is the before and this is the after. That looks fucking amazing. <laughs> and look where, look at this shot before. Look how much red there is and look how much, um, look how much of a magenta tint there was in this uh, photo. Um, all I did back, all I did here was just uh, brought back some colors by adding some green tint into the scene and this is where you start seeing the blue on her on one side of her face and then from there I just started manipulating the colors. If there is anything you can take away from this image or what I've learned when I edit when I do these edits is you gotta always experiment. Experiment with the different colors, experiment with the tint because people I feel as though people are afraid of this. They don't touch this. They don't touch the white balance. They don't touch the tint at all. This is your best friend when it comes to low light portraits and when it comes to nighttime portraits and when it comes to um, neon, neon portraits. Uh, you use this to get the creative colors. You use this to uh, correct any tint or any cast that you may have. And then from there, you just bring out more colors or add in more colors if you want to, right? I know a lot of people, when they shoot neons, they just keep it at like the purple, uh, at the magenta purple neon shots. If you can uh, start fucking around with the white balance and the tint a little bit more, you're gonna get a different look and it's gonna be different from what all the generic uh, looking neon shots look like. And you're gonna get something different that looks something like this. Cause uh, that looks, this looks super cinematic to me. <laughs> It looks so fucking dope. This is how you edit like a pro. This is how you color grade like a pro. If you just keep experimenting, keep practicing, uh, your, your shots are gonna look like this every time you edit. If you guys found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel where I do break down some of my editing uh, techniques and some of my editing process for you guys. Yeah, if you have any questions, just leave the leave a comment down in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And yeah, that is it for me, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Once again, my name is Tung, and I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Okay, bye. Ooh.